the most I like it is actually seeing it happening uh, or application of it. So uh, yesterday was really a very proud moment uh, the past two days because this was just an idea. Thank you very much for us uh, being allowed to come along and find out more about uh, Beehive. Firstly, I think you're very brave for me to, to come along on the basis that my local team, Ipswich, knocked your local team, Lincoln, out of the FA Cup. How do you feel about that, sir? About that, that considerable loss? Look, win or lose, we should stand by our own local team. And I yeah, think we absolutely. shall do that. So come on, tell us about Beehive, because you've got, you've got an amazing announcement to, to make that's just come out from uh, Big Potato Show recently. Tell us, tell us about Beehive. So Beehive is, uh, we created Beehive as a fresh produce agri-tech company. And the purpose of the company is to bring innovations to solve real life fresh produce problems. So we've taken a problem okay. and we want to bring one or two technologies or multiple technologies with the best collaborators to solve that problem. Okay. So uh, we are really not interested in whether it's a drone technology or a satellite technology or a new technology that even doesn't exist today. Yep. But the fundamental is to solve that problem. So what we are trying to do is we want a very good solution that will increase the productivity. What we are very keen is to increase the marketable yield that really lands the value to the growers or to the supply chain. What is that problem that you and your team are going to solve? People speak about data. What we really need is insights. Okay. Data is just meaningless if we can't do anything about what we're looking at. Data, all these new technologies that you talk about, they're coming in, there's so much data coming through. So where where it seems to be that you're fundamentally different is that you've actually looked at a particular problem to create a solution. So what, what are you, what's the solution that you're creating for that problem? What's the problem? What's the solution? The, the solution is insights. Insights. Got insights. It. So okay. insights that is meaningful at the right time so that we can act on it to make money. Whether okay. it's a grower, whether it's a packer or the retailer, they want something as an insight that is meaningful to look at and meaning to meaningful to act on okay. so that they can make the management decisions at that time. If only we can reduce the variability okay. by increasing the average and understanding what we actually have, that helps different people within the supply chain in different levels. So you're telling me you've created that solution? Yes. That, that you could go to my field of 25 acres, 18 hectares or whatever and be able to estimate within a, within a good variance what's actually in that field. We're not estimating, we're actually giving you the actuals. Wow. So <laughs> the, the difference is when we started this, we wanted to understand the whole... But that's, gr hold on, that's groundbreaking. It is, and hence it has got patented. So it is a patented technology in the UK because yeah. it's novel. Ideally, we want to find these technologies that already exist to make yeah. us work. Okay. In this instance, we couldn't find one, so we created one and, and, and invented one. And is this known? Is this known out, out, uh, out there? We just come out of BP 2019 yep. and I'm really pleased to say that we launched this product as Harvest Time. Harvest Time. Yep. Okay, so one to watch, Harvest Time. Harvest Time. Yep. And I'm also pleased to announce our partnership with Grima, one of the largest harvesters yep. uh, in, in the world. So, so what's that partnership? What, the, what that partnership enables is for us to uh, market and sell this product through Grima. Okay. Grima is our distribution agent in the UK to start with and to spread globally. And what they would do is market, sell, install, commission, and service these kits yeah. uh, on our behalf. You're, you're absolutely right. It's just not the yield. Okay. We are very keen on size, and yeah. hence this kit was created for sizing. Okay. Uh, but the challenge is we have camera technology in the pack houses for many years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The challenge we had to encounter was it's in the field yeah, because yeah. when you have the when you have the sizing information in the pack house sometimes it's too little too late. Okay. When you're a business which you're procuring, let's say half a million tons of root crop, yeah. or a million tons if you're a processor, your plus or minus 5% on that size yeah. band can mean millions of pounds. Because so many people have heard me say before, there's so much profitability held up within the supply chain. If you've been able to rifle in to that particular huge issue and create the solution with it, and also that, that partnership. But what you really don't want is a technology to tell you what you harvested, what you want to know is how effective your harvest has been. There's the, there lies the difference. Okay. So people speak about yield. What we speak about is the variability within the yield. Yep. Okay. Because if you got a hectare of a land, 25% of that land has provided you your targeted size. Yep. You want to know why I haven't got yeah. that in the remaining 75%. Yeah. To know that, we need to understand the whole population. Yeah. This is what this gives. Sample yeah. doesn't fit yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there lies the additional value. Okay. I, I think you might have been knocked out of the FA Cup, but with the technology that you and your team have created, I, th I think you might just have, you might just have won the World Cup. 
So <laughs> team, team, team to watch. Have a look at the links, everyone, uh, because I think there's a big future for this uh, for this business. V, thank you very much. Thank you. So, how do you know your onions? <laughs> Have you got faces of wax? No, no I'm not an agriculturist at all. Okay. Uh, I'm an engineer by profession. Okay. And I like, like is an understatement, I love the concept of seeing a complex problem, splitting into simple things, yeah, yeah. and using uh, either the relationship or the knowledge or the combination uh, of both to I, I wish I could be like you. I'm but a salesman, so if I, if I, I can't break it down. I can't break it, I just... But uh, the, mo the most I like it is actually seeing it happening uh, or application of it so uh, yesterday was really a very proud moment uh, the past two days because this was just an idea yeah. that, that's how the innovation happens five years into it a um, lot of challenges a lot of obstacles but we got very good brain power a lot of people who have contributed endless amount of time trying to scratch their head if there's other people with an idea but they need a catalyst to, to, to bring it forward, you'd be interested in having conversations with them? Yes, because what okay. um, we've been doing this, the Beehive's been running for two years, but yeah. uh, the, the world of innovation and the thinking behind it has been there for a long time. What we've done by doing Beehive is learned how to change a concept into something meaningful. Yeah. That's fine, but you need a process and you need a method of how to deliver that. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we've been yeah, yeah. delivering and learning and therefore we now have a process that we can adapt.